Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Like I promised, today we're doing the mission Hit Again, where I guess the same criminals have hit Nono again. And we have to go back to this janked, the lawless place where we can actually die. And uh, I guess take back what they stole, or something along those lines. So we're at night. And let's see. This time they don't have monsters with them. But I'm going to quickly look at their equipment. The long barrel. Ah, oh, I want that so bad. Always hit its mark. It has an extra range, I believe. But it teaches you precision. Or concentrate there. Focuses mine to increase attack hit rate. It is so good. Such a good uh, ability. Harp. Saber used by a legendary hero to slay a beast. I can't steal weapons, however. Okay, let's look at his blue magic. Level 3, defense less. Uh, let's see. White wind, dragon force. See, if I, I, I think these two I don't have yet. Dragon force and level 3, defense less. So I need to... I wish I could force him to attack me with those. Bracers. I can steal his bracers, but I have a bunch of them already. Black mage. Have a thief. With thief armlets. And a red mage. So they don't really have any gear worth stealing at the moment. And they don't have the assassin this time. Um, if you noticed, last time we got instant KO'd by, by their assassin. So we won't have to really worry about that this time. Uh, Marriott, and then one more person. Well, Domi's learning a new skill. Uh, do I have people... Wait, let me make sure I have some white magic. Neville. I think he's got black magic equipped, so let's change that to white, so that uh, he's got life. And... Let's see, Domi. Let's give you items, just in case. And that way we have two people able to, at the very least, uh, revive anyone who gets downed. A hit and run? Nope, don't know anything about it. I know you do, you won't go unpunished for this. So, I don't know how many times I gotta teach you this lesson, old man, but... We'll beat it into them. It's a fire whip. Eh, it might hit. It will disable him. Okay, it doesn't hit. Now it's his turn. He's only got 116 HP, so that should be like a one or two uh, turn uh, time to actually knock him out. Uh, like so, we'll just move up. And then take care of him. Okay, he's got two HP left. automatically cast haste on him so his next turn is gonna come quicker but most likely we'll have him before then oh he's got chocobo rush he's got some uh, what is that animist abilities the only thing that's good about that ability I feel like is the range so, we can just uh, air render. Thank you. So that's their leader down. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to run after the accident. Why is it an accident if it happened for the second time? The first time you definitely meant to do it. And this time you're calling it an accident. 
Gonna throw some water magic down there. Or, or maybe not. This guy move up. You've got air render. Or can you throw blue magic at someone? So that's not gonna do too much damage. Under damage? Yeah, I'll take it. Try that. What? This is one thing that's different in the second game. Um, now? Okay, he's got an ice robe. Right now, um, you'll notice that my chance to hit pretty low. And then the, the sequel your chance to hit is almost always very high, but flanking changes the amount of damage you do a little bit. Okay, yeah, we can take it. We can take some damage, that should be fine. And a lot of these guys aren't going to be able to get in range just yet. Oh my god, the game is slowing down. Computing their turn. This guy's just gonna attack one of us. Whenever they decide to do it. He's not even using any of his abilities. Because one of the powerful things about the gunner is like charm shots or confusion shots, blind shots, stop shots when you can get that. Just throwing effects on uh, the enemy team from a distance. Charm shot is very useful. You can because there you convert them to your side until the effect wears off or they get attacked. Um who do I want to I've still got good HP. So 24%, 83%. So is there no Heavy dust. Can I not just take him out? Not really. 50%. That's not bad. Uh, do fire whip on her. Got a chance to just disable her. Yeah, we don't care about the auto regen as long as she's affected by the status effect, which is gonna be a no. We tried. Blue mage damaged. This thief guy, I'm a little nervous about what he can do. But he might just decide to try to just steal uh, gold. No, he's just gonna attack. Okay, we're not too worried about that. Um, I think we'll move up. And we'll just try to disable or knock out their blue mage. The spells of his are not too great to get turned against us. And then Neville. What if you just try to damage this guy? Little by little we're picking them off. What if we just move up a lot? Because we have HP, we can take an incoming attack. Uh, there. And then hit both these guys. You could knock out the Black Mage and damage their Thief. Well, missed one, but I'll take it. I'm not as worried in this battle as the other, by the first time. Maybe it's because we're even stronger, but also the last time we had that assassin against us, and just that that ability to instant KO, the last breath ability, that's just so powerful. So we should also uh, try to get an assassin in our team. 
Our uh, Viera could become that as well. Or Eldena, who's at the moment still a white mage. I thought I was gonna make her a summoner, but... I don't know. We could do both. It's not, like, super... useful. Uh, because their stats growth will vary, so they'll likely not be extremely good at magic if it's just a side ability, but... Let's attack this guy from the side. Yeah, that'll do it. And then move up. I, they're so far away still. Ninja skill. Um, try to blind him. Even if it doesn't matter for his... Because uh, he's got the concentrate ability, he could still hit us, most likely. But having him blinded should make it easier for us to hit him. I should have immobilized him. See, even on blinded, 53% chance at the front. It's, a, it's just very useful to have that concentrate, so I want that as soon as I can. Air render. She's got basically all her health back now. Okay, good hits. I could throw another spell down and with some luck might hit them. I'll hit one of them. Ah, and now you can use Far Fist again. How about that? Could win the game right here. There we go. Nicely done. Apologize to Nono and don't ever do it again. Well, that wasn't too bad. And Eldena's back from her dispatch mission. Dragon mail times one, that's something new. Let's see what's, let's see rather what that does. Dragon mail. Oh, nothing? Half's fire. That, that's okay. What do you have equipped? Dragon mail's better than what you have, so you can have that. And then your helm? Diamond Helm. That works. Oh, what about your shield? Every other shield would be better. How about you take the ice shield? Alright, we're all set. Well, there's another quest that we're working on. And there's this clan down here for that, the Snow Fairy. A mysterious Snow Fairy has been sighted. So let's see what that's all about. Let's not see what that is all about just yet. Let's first look for the Snow Fairy. Okay, our laws are going to be Knuckles and Sharpshoot, which... We should be able to work with. Oh, if only I had a yummy sweet as cold as fallen snow. You mean this? Okay, I didn't have... I didn't have the item that they need. Let's see what they're able to do. A grenade. Powerful bomb covered in ice due to element shift. We've never seen one of those. He's got a boom ability. Blow up chill. Weapon attack plus. And 
the snow fairy here is a sprite. White wind and counter. So basically weak. And an ice flan. Wow, that's ridiculous. So they really... We really should have uh, had the item. Maybe we can repeat this quest in the future when we have the right item. Sure hope so. And... Let's grab everyone who is learning some stuff. Eldena, are you learning an ability? Yes, Esuna. We'll just throw you in there. Okay, maybe we can't. Who's not learning an ability? Well, Blanc isn't. Okay, we'll throw her in there, just for good measure, and start. You're not nice, I don't like you. We've done nothing wrong, but we just didn't have what you wanted. Because I didn't know what you wanted before starting the quest. But we need some treat, some quest item that's made out of ice. Goodbye to you. You move up. And do you move up? Everyone just moves up. Actually, you've got white magic. Why don't you, uh,. Cast some magic on us, just so you can get some XP. And same with uh, Aldena, she can... Why don't you cast Barrier? There, that'll work. Alright. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to beat the sprite up. But if it was my choice, I wouldn't. I'd run away. Okay, just move up. Do you have a blue magic ability you can use? Not at this distance. Right, the flan. Should be very easy because it's such a low level, weak enemy. We should be able to take him on just fine with any any of our characters really. Okay, you are not in range. You can just take care of this one. What? What? <laughs> A critical hit of one damage. I think that's gonna be my thumbnail for this episode right there. Uh, you, because knuckles are forbidden, you just stay behind. Just, you take care of the sprite then. What does she have to say? Just ah. Ugh. Okay, well, we'll finish off the flan and then we're done with this nonsense. There we go. Cast some air magic. Yeah, and hopefully we can retry this quest some other time. don't understand fairies at all. But for now we've completed another quest. We got a new gun. Alright, and then... Join us next episode. Where, what should we do? 
bomb infestation. Sounds good. As well as here the golden clock is our next main quest. So we should be doing, probably doing those next episode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.